This is Quentin Brooks with Karim Hashem, Messianic Jewish Congregation. And I want to invite everyone to join us for Tisha B'Av, this year celebrated on August 6th. Tisha B'Av is a more serious Jewish holiday. Bemoaning both times the city of Yerushalayim was destroyed, along with the Holy Temple, first by the Babylonians, and then by the Romans, we'll take down our parochet at the front of the sanctuary, which is the veil, representing the destruction of the Holy Temple. Uh, we will be sitting on the floor if you can. If not, we have pews, but we'll be sitting on the floor like we are mourning, and we'll read the Book of Lamentations, the Book of Aika, together, which bemoaned the destruction of Yerushalayim the first time by the Babylonians. Most of us will also be uh, having a day of fasting afterward. And I think it's appropriate for all followers of Yeshua to have a special place in their heart toward the temple and toward Yerushalayim and the Jewish nation as a whole. You see, God has uniquely put his name and his presence not only on the Temple Mount, but on the whole entire nation of Israel. Our continued survival is a testament to his reality and his kingship on the earth. But we also recognize that as long as the Temple, the Beit HaMikdash, is not around, as long as Jerusalem is not fully restored, then a certain aspect of his kingship is not manifest on the earth. And that is something that we should all be upset about um, and take very seriously. And so everyone is invited this year, and everyone is welcome to contribute. You see, we want to hear from you. And so if you have a devotional, maybe a little paragraph that you'd like to write, or maybe as long as a page, um, or a thought pertaining to the themes of this holiday, send it our way sometime uh, before the holiday. I'll say before um, August 1st. Send it our way so that we can check it out and make sure it lines up kind of with our theology and how we understand scripture and to see where we can put it into the service. And even if you just follow us on Instagram and you never come here or even on this side of the nation, or if you follow us on YouTube or on Facebook, you are welcome. And what we'll do is we'll say who sent it to us. We'll read off your name and we'll read what you've sent us. Um, and give you due credit in the process. The only thing I would request is please do not make any use of God's sacred name according to its four letters, or give us an alternate spelling of the name Yeshua or Jesus. Uh, this Anyone who calls him Yahashua or Yahshua or Yeshua, it shows a very poor grasp of the Hebrew language. The tone of any submissions should be serious and meditative. They can pertain to themes about God's temple, about Israel, about Judaism, um, the Holocaust even, uh, the tense relation between the Jewish and the Christian community through the millennia, but also they can carry themes of hope. Because you see, at the end of the day, Tishba Av mourns about the destruction and all the loss that's taken place through time, but at the same time, we're also hopeful because we recognize there is a day coming, a perfectly peaceful era, ruled over by the Mashiach, when the knowledge of God will cover the earth as the waters cover the sea. And then we'll be able to put all this behind us. So if you have a piece about hope, about reconciliation, um, about the reign of the Mashiach, about the glories of the future Yerushalayim and the Messianic era, or even Revelation 21 and 22, about the new Yerushalayim, the new Jerusalem, all that is welcome too. And if you write something and you're not really sure it relates, a good way of making sure it relates is to read the Book of Lamentations or the Amidah and say, all right, how can I tie it into this? Or maybe the um, or maybe the words of the Master Yeshua, the Messiah, moaning over Yerushalayim. That would also be an excellent way to say, all right, what are some things that I can read and meditate on to develop this writing prompt? And so everyone is welcome to come out and join us for a day of scripture reading and prayer. This will be August 6th at 6 o'clock. Shabbat Shalom. I hope to see you then.